you finished making your Google Slides presentation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull those slides into Pear Deck. And we're gonna use Pear Deck to engage the class and to be able to ask them some questions and embed those questions within your presentation. So let me show you how that works. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Google Drive and then you're gonna go to New, go down to More, and then choose Pear Deck. The first time you do this, it's gonna ask you a question at the beginning. You need to choose that you're a student. And once you set that up, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. So since you've already created a Google presentation, you're gonna go ahead and just click right here to import that presentation. And then the presentations that you have made will pull up here. So I'm actually just gonna choose this little homecoming week one. So it is going to take a moment to process those slides. Depending on how many images you have and how big your file is, that might take longer or shorter amount of time. So do not press refresh while it's processing. Now you'll see that each of my slides has come in as an image. And it does give you the option to be able to add a title, but you really don't need to. It's fine if you just leave them as they are. Each slide that's here, you'll see it says normal. It's a normal slide, so that's just the normal slide, no interactivity built into that. However, some of them, you might wanna build in a question so that you can engage everybody in the classroom. So how you do that is you go over here where it says normal, and maybe I wanna ask a multiple choice question on this slide. So this is your spirit check. Um, are you team blue? are you team gold and so say that i want to ask a multiple choice question that just asks are you team blue are you team gold and so right here you can see this is a student preview and this is what's going to show up when you start presenting to the entire class so this will be on your projector screen you'll be showing that on the projector while you're presenting but this is what's going to be on every student's screen in the class so that they can answer the question so basically go through all your slides and change whichever slides that you want, keep them either normal or make them an interactive type of slide. You can do a draggable type, you can do a multiple choice, you can also do some um, free response text. So you choose what you want. Let me just show you a draggable really quickly. A draggable item, if you make it like a dot like this, then you might ask students in the class to put the circle on top of the torch in this picture or something like that. If you want um, people in the class to point to something specifically, this might work really well for a map. If you want people to point to something on a map, for instance, if this is confusing, then don't worry about that type and just stick to uh, multiple choice and free response type questions. Anyway, once you've completed making everything, then you just go ahead here and you will name your Pear Deck and you rename it. So how do you access that presentation in the future? Where is it stored? Where is it saved? It's all saved in your Google Drive. So if I scroll down, you can see that this is an example. It's what I just worked on. That's saved in my Google Drive. So I can just click to access it. I need to press this button to open with Pear Deck. And then I can go back in and I can edit, make any changes that I need to make, or if it's my presentation day, I just press that start presenting button. And then you will open the projector view, and then everybody in the class will go ahead and put this code into their computer, and you can do your presentation.